Okay, I wanted to give a quick update on my battery pack that I built using lithium titanate batteries. You can see I've got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 48 volt battery packs. Each, each shelf is basically 20 lithium titanate batteries. They're 2.7 volts, so added together is about 48 volts. So there's one shelf there. And I got one there, one there, one there, and one there. And I've got them all wired up so that the negative comes out here. And they're all chained down so they're, not, they're chained together in parallel. And it, it runs out into this breaker box, which I've got, which is a 250 volt breaker box. Let me, uh, move over as so you can see it so it's uh, basically two um, 100 100 amp fuses one on each side of the battery and so I've got the top feeding to here, the bottom feeding down there, so that way the the juice runs through the, all of the batteries. And the way I connected these, and I tried a lot of different ways of connecting the um, batteries in, in parallel, but this is what I came up with because it seemed, it seemed to be the best, the simplest thing to do, which is I cut this out off of um, a bar of aluminum, a big long six foot bar, and I made multiple cuts to to create the um, two dashes that you can see there. And that just sets right up on the battery. And the nice thing about that is once you screw your your nuts on to pop to pull it off, you don't have to take the nuts all the way off. You just loosen them like one half a turn and the thing will pull right off. So it makes it a lot easier than ha than having to um, constantly, pull the nuts on and off for each battery, each um, cell. And then at the end, I've got this active balancer, which goes, I've only got one wired up right now, as you can see here. And it acts, actively balances a um, battery while it's being used. So it makes sure that all the uh, cells stay um, equally balanced throughout the entire usage of the cell and then between the um, the two cells I put a 100 amp fuse so that if anything melts down it'll blow that fuse first so that gives you an idea of what it looks like on a single single battery 48 volts so Anyway, that's an update.